300 years ago, the South China Sea was the domain of freebooters and pirates who raped and pillaged their way from Canton to Malacca. Could these sea rovers of old have ever imagined the Malampaya project? A 500 kilometer steel snake running from a submarine platform at Malampaya, northwest of Palawan Island, through the Linapakan Strait, across the Mindoro Strait, south of Mindoro Island, traversing Mindoro's eastern coast into the Verde Island Passage with landfall in Batangas Bay. In April 2000, CPC established its operational centre in Kwantan, Malaysia in order to carry out a complex logistical contract calling for the timely delivery of 46,000 joints of concrete coated pipe by sea from Kwantan to the Malampaya pipeline route. The pipes were transported by truck from the coating yard six kilometers from the port. Each pipe was cleaned with high pressure water jets before delivery to the quayside. CPC charted in five modern multi-purpose ships with box-shaped holds and a service speed of 16 knots in order to meet the delivery schedule demanded by the pipe laying vessel. monitored the stowage of the pipe using Loadmaster computers, which continuously maintained trim and stability during loading operations. Loading an average of 7,000 metric tons of pipe was carried out around the clock during a vessel turnaround in port of 36 hours. wooden dunnage and specially designed removable mini staunchions were fitted to the hatch pontoons in order to secure the pipes carried on deck. Care was taken to protect the pipe from the lashing chains used to secure the deck cargo by placing used car tyres along the outer rows of pipes. All pipe was stowed to very precise instructions transmitted by the pipe laying vessel so as to ensure that the correct laying sequence was maintained at all times. We get the load, load out for it. This particular one's for load number six, uh, revision number one. And then it just tells you in what order um, to load. First we have in the uh, hold, bay one, two, three, four. The blue signifies the colour of the pipe that we're loading. And then you have three types of pipe, which is plain, anodes, and uh, buckler vest. Good morning, Mr. Pilot. Time for a dawn departure. Okay, Captain, all yours. Dropping the pilot. the turning boy. This is the port now, sir. Full ahead for Malampaya to rendezvous with all seas dynamically positioned pipe laying vessel Solitaire, the most advanced vessel of its type in the world. Three days later, approaching Solitaire in steadily worsening sea conditions. Solitaire, Prince, uh, Norwegian, Don't What's the 
as for, for the rest of the day when this week... Some tense moments whilst the vessel is moored alongside with the aid of two 4,000 horsepower tugs with winds gusting to 45 knots. Adjusting uh, 45. Okay, post man out, post 42. Mahana, post! On the board. As night falls, the weather finds a way, but it is not possible to start offloading until the ship is cleared by the Philippines customs officials. Pipe laying continues nevertheless. Dawn, officialdom descends in a transfer basket. Followed by specialist riggers from the solitaire to hook on the pipe. Transfer of pipe progresses at a steady rate of 20 to 30 joints an hour, which are fed into the solitaire's firing line or its large capacity cargo holds. Transfer of pipe was carried out in sea conditions, which at times made the CPC vessels roll up to 21 degrees and pitch 5 degrees, at the same time that Solitaire was rolling 2 degrees and pitching 1 degree. Over a period of three months, 39 loads of pipe were delivered from Kwantan to Solitaire. Frequently, two ships were alongside at one time. At no time was the pipe laying interrupted because of shortage of pipes. The entire operation was performed on schedule and without any damage to cargo, lost time or accidents.